Hayabusa 2 was launched in December 2014. It arrived above the asteroid last June. The mission is aimed at exploring the origins of planets and water, as well as the source of life. All right, guys, how cool is that? So basically, the Japanese landed a space probe onto an asteroid, another near-Earth object, fired a bullet into it, landed three probes on it. Now they're bringing it back to Earth because, you know, they want to figure out, you know, the origins of life or, or, or of Earth, rather, you know, looking for molecules, any sign of life, water, anything, you know, that they can they can study. But here's the thing. Here's where, like, the skeptic, let me hit pause you know, the skeptic comes out in me. If they do find something, will they share it with us? I doubt it, you know? I mean, yeah, they'll make little scientific papers and all that, but if they do find any real signs of life, I doubt they're gonna share it. Also, uh, we're going back to the moon, 2024. They're gonna use 4K cameras and, you know, send us footage of what the moon really looks like. So I'm excited about that too. But yeah, they said the 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 asteroid was like this bluish color on the inside and a reddish color on the outside and at one point they can tell when it was orbiting the sun it was scorched and burned you know the actual asteroid so how crazy is that though to, to, i mean just to shoot a rocket up into space right now you have this spacecraft lands on an asteroid and another near-earth object you know, fires a bullet into it, you know, does a crash landing, and that kicks up the debris, they collect collect the samples, and now it should be back to Earth around December where they're going to study it. So I thought that was incredibly cool, and, um, you know, I wanted to, uh, to just share it with you guys. So what... Space Exploration Agency said the spacecraft also shot a projectile onto the asteroid. JAXA thereby plans to collect and retrieve stones and sand from the surface of Ryugu. Hayabusa 2 will soon touch down on the asteroid Ryugu, where it will collect a surface sample by firing a bullet into the soil to collect matter thrown up by the impact. The sample will reportedly be returned to Earth in 2020 where it can be analyzed to learn more about the formation of asteroids in the early solar system. Digital trends report that the asteroid Ryugu, named after a dragon's palace from a Japanese folktale, is in an elliptical orbit between Earth and Mars. It took about 42 months for the Japanese spacecraft to reach it. Ryugu is approximately one kilometer in diameter and is part of a group of asteroids discovered in the 1930s named the Apollo Group. 